I'm Sue Williams and today I'm going to actually show you how to condition a puppy to a clicker. Now clicker training is a brilliant way to train your dog, be it a puppy or an adult dog, because it uses positive reinforcement and we actually get the dog's brain to engage and to start to think, which is a fantastic thing to be doing as well. So before you start, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to arm yourself with some tasty treats. Now I'm using Natural Instincts Beef Jerky. I find this a fantastic treat to use because the dogs love it. My dogs are all fed on natural food as well. So when I give them this, I know I'm not going to be upsetting their tummy and I'm always putting good stuff in rather than any of the bad additives, etc. Um, and what I can do with the beef jerky is I can cut it up into tiny little pieces. Now that's important because with clicker training, we do use a lot of food to start with. So I don't want to be giving big, big um, quantities of um, treats in one go. I just want tiny little bits so that I can give a few little bits of there and not fill my puppy up too quickly. And also what I'm going to need is I'm going to need my clicker. So this is a clicker, there's a little box plastic box object. It's got a little bit of a metal area here and all it does is it makes a sound that's a bit unique. So that's my clicker um, and what I've got to do first of all is I've actually got to condition the puppy to the sounds of the clicker. So what I need my puppy to understand is that when I click it then it knows it's going to get a piece of food as a reward. So I'm going to do that now with a little seven week old puppy. So now I've got my puppy. This is little Sophie. She's a seven week old Cocker Spaniel puppy. She's never been conditioned to the clicker. So this is her first little training session. She's also not used to getting tidbits from the hand either. So I'm going to let her down. And let's see if we can get, get, get her conditioned. So there we go, little Sophie. So I'll put a few treats in my hand. I'm just gonna click my clicker and I'm gonna give her a treat. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, have you got some teeth in there? There we go, there's another one there. So if you notice, I'm not actually saying anything to the puppy. All I'm doing is just clicking it and giving her a treat. So we've now had a couple of little sessions with Sophie doing the conditioning and she's certainly getting towards the stage now where she's conditioned to the sound of the clicker. It's really important that you actually go through this stage because what the clicker is going to do is going to give you a very powerful tool that tells her a precise moment that she's done the right thing. So basically it's a way of you communicating and giving her feedback. That's really important. You're giving her feedback and you're giving her feedback that she's done the right thing so that she's then going to get the reward. And what it means is you don't have to give her the reward or the piece of food or the praise immediately, but you can still tell her she's doing the right thing. So she could be a little bit of a distance away from me and I can actually click the clicker because she's doing something really good that I wanted to do. And she will actually understand that it's what she's doing away from me that is what's actually getting her the reward and not the fact that she's come back to me. So, so now what I need to know is is little Sophie conditioned to the sound of the clicker? Now that's quite important for me to know because then it means that when I introduce the clicker into my training I know it's effective. So the easiest way for me to do that with a young puppy like Sophie is to actually just pop her down on the ground and I'm going to wait till her attention's on something else other than me and I'm just going to click the clicker and I'm going to watch for her response. Now if she comes back to me or she looks at me expectantly for food and says hey come on where is it? then I know she's conditioned. If she carries on doing what she's doing, there's no problem. It just means I need to carry on doing the conditioning process. Sophie's reaction has shown me is that she understands what the clicker means. So that's brilliant. It shows she's conditioned to the sound of the clicker and it means I can now use it as part of my training. <laughs> 